Hello, my name is Paul Dansback, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In this session of Training Minutes, we're going to talk about collapse resistiveness of certain floor systems. We're also going to talk about structural hierarchy. Understanding structural hierarchy will help us identify which structural components are more important than others. In terms of structural hierarchy, building columns are some of the most important structural components of the building. This column runs vertically. It runs from the footing or foundation. It runs up. It supports, in this case, a steel beam. The steel beam, in turn, runs horizontally and supports the floor joists on the top of the steel beam. Back to our column. If our column were to fail, it would result in the loss of support to the beam. The beam may also fail, dropping the floor joists which are supported by the beam, resulting in a large area of collapse. Additionally, if this column line runs vertically through the building and supports subsequent floors and the roof, the loss of a column in a basement level or the lower level of a building will result in a vertical collapse sequence vertically through the building to the floors above and to the roof, resulting in not only a large horizontal collapse zone, but a collapse zone that encompasses all floors of the building above the column which has failed. The building that we're in is an old supermarket. The portion of the building that we're standing in was constructed in the 1970s. You will notice the floor joists of this building are of large dimensional lumber. They're actually 3 by 12 floor joists. Additionally, the 3 by 12 floor joists have been constructed in a manner designed to support a heavy load above. The floor joists are 12 inches on center as compared to the normal framing standard of 16 inches on center. What that does is allows for a greater load. What that means for the fire service is that there is more meat in the floor joist. That translates to a greater burn time. The fact that the joists are 12 inches on center builds redundancy into the floor system. In this case, we could have a localized area of collapse or damage to several of the joists, but because the joists are redundant, one will help take up the load of the adjoining joists should they fail. Another collapse potential in this building is burn through of the floor decking. What we see when we look up between the joists is the underside of the plywood floor decking. Localized burn through of the floor deck creates a collapse potential and an entanglement potential for firefighters. A firefighter's leg may fall through, entangling and trapping the firefighter in that small area of collapse. As we walk through the basement, we notice this column. This column is unique in that it is not connected to a beam at the basement level. This column continues vertically through the floor up to a beam that supports the roof. Therefore, in terms of structural hierarchy, any collapse of this column, any failure of this column, will result in an area of collapse of the roof. In another part of the basement, we discover a column. This column supports a wood beam or a wood girder, which in turn supports 2x10 floor joists. The 2x10 floor joists are spaced 16 inches on center. This part of the floor system differs from the other part of the floor system in that this dimensional lumber is smaller than the dimensional lumber used in the other floor. 2x10s versus 3x12s. Another difference is that these floor joists are spaced 16 inches on center as compared to the 3x12s being placed 12 inches on center. Obviously, the floor system constructed with the 3x12s is designed to carry a much greater load. A common condition which you may encounter in a commercial building is an alteration to the floor system that has resulted in multiple layers of flooring. We have the original floor, a hardwood floor, that was installed in the building. Subsequent to the hardwood floor, a tile floor was installed. After the tile floor was installed, another layer of subflooring was added, another layer of tile, a small piece of plywood as a finished coat, and then two more layers of tile. The multiple layers of flooring may help reduce the potential for burn through of the floor decking. Understanding structural hierarchy and understanding the construction and collapse potential of floor systems is paramount to firefighter safety. 
Thank you for watching this session of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.